Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher. Today, we are going to dive in on my Season 5 wish list, and also we're going to talk about what worked in Season 4, what didn't, and what needs to change next season. Don't forget to use creator code CYPHERPK in the item shop. Let's jump into this discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, Chapter 2 Season 4 is coming to an end very soon. Chapter 2 Season 5 is supposed to start December 3rd. Let's talk about season four really quickly season four was probably the best season of chapter two and honestly it was arguably one of the best seasons of the game probably top five best seasons and i'll explain why in a second all right oh we had a purple pump out of that chest so season four brought back a lot of the good feels of fortnite because there's a lot of variety in the way the game can be played the updates were pretty frequent we went from barely getting any updates uh, in the past few seasons to getting pretty decent bi-weekly updates like the Stark Industry, the Venom Mythic Ability, uh, Thor's Hammer. All the Mythic Abilities that got introduced were pretty significant and game-changing. I know when we think about some of the uh, previous seasons, we, you know, we think of them a lot higher than we actually remember them. And that's mainly because of nostalgia. They were great seasons, don't get me wrong. But I think season four, when we think back on season four, years down the line, we're gonna remember it as one of the great Fortnite seasons. Now, there is still a lot to improve upon, which is why there is a season five wishlist video. Good things were the updates. Uh, some streamers have returned to the game. That's pretty significant. We have people like Nick Merckx and Tim the Tatman and even Closey today come back to Fortnite. Uh, that wouldn't have happened if the game wasn't in a decent state great loot variety the fishing update was pretty significant and uh, i liked it a lot now here's what in my opinion needs to change or needs to be addressed next season i still think that the pacing of the game at times can be very slow and at times it can drag and you won't find fights for a while a lot of people are good at fortnite now not everybody but a lot of people know how to play and most people do not care about wins as much anymore. Back in the day, not a lot of people had wins. Nowadays, everybody has at least one or two wins, if not more. So most people just want to play. They want action. They want combat. They want a hot drop. Speaking of hot drops, Stark Industry is the main hot drop this season. And in my opinion, it, it, it's kind of not good for the pacing of the, ma of the match. First of all, this whole Stark Industry ground being so high above everything caused a lot of issues and competitive. It kind of reminded me of Polar Peak especially when the circle pulls up here, uh, rotating up to Stark Industry can be a pain. Also, it's such a good drop with so much good loot that like half the lobby lands here. Most matches, half the lobby ends up landing here. So it's it's pretty significant in affecting the pacing of the match. see that it's pretty significant and affecting the pacing of the match and so many people land here both in competitive and casual and it creates a pretty like quick death for the lobby a lot of people end up landing here and just getting deleted in my opinion it's okay to have drop spots but the problem arises when we have one significant drop spot that's so much better than everything else we see places like doom's domain that has a vault but Doom's Domain is does not have the Stark chest that this place has. In the previous season, we had a little bit more spread on the drop spots because we had a lot of mythic abilities that people could land at, and uh, it created for more diverse laning. This season, most of the lobby, every single match goes to Stark, especially if you fly over Stark. So I think next season, they need to try to create more hot spots and more places, destinations with really good loot uh, beyond just Stark. To, to get people to spread. I think this whole thing needs to go away anyways next season. I think it's it's too much to have this entire big landscape. They need to continue the mythic abilities and spread them out and also continue adding mythics. I love the Venom mythic. I love Thor, uh, Group Ball. I hated the Black Panther one. I feel like it was really weak and could have been done a lot better. So just keep up the mythics. Keep 
adding variety. Um, I'm glad that they're not in competitive. It's cool to see that they're willing to make changes to the pub game, but not the competitive version of Fortnite so that they don't affect it negatively um, and ruin the balance of competitive. But I think these mythic items are, are fun for pubs. They, they add a lot to it. Uh, just try not to make them weak like the uh, Black Panther mythic ability. That one could have been done so much better in my opinion. But yeah, I'm sure they, they got that feedback because they took it out pretty quickly. Map changes. Besides removing the whole Stark area, I think they should reconsider, or I think they should consider bringing back some of the old POIs. As you guys know, Galactus is coming for the uh, zero point. The zero point is what changed the old map to this map. That's, that's the reason we're on this map. And that's the reason why some of the old map is still in this map, like Salty Springs and Pleasant Park and Retail Row. If Galactus is coming, to capture the zero point or whatever and he ends up changing the map i think it would make sense to bring back some old pois i'm not saying bring back the entire old map but places like tilted towers could potentially make a return places like dusty depot could potentially make a return i think that would be a great way to feed the nostalgia get people excited about old pois returning without just completely scrapping this entire map and like going back to an old map you know i think that's the best way to approach it hopefully that's the idea they have in mind um, for Galactus. Also for season five, continue with the regular updates. I really loved the update schedule this season. We were getting updates like every two to three weeks at most, and there were pretty significant updates with some good changes to the game. Um, so like, I, I know there was, you know, rumors of a slurp bazooka. Hopefully that's added either at the beginning of the season or during the season. Uh, and there was some other mythic weapons uh, and potential vaults that were coming in. Uh, hopefully the helicarrier becomes a POI and it lands somewhere on the on the new map. I say new map because season five is probably going to get some pretty significant map changes uh, just based off of how much they're hyping up this Galactus event. I think it's been a while since Epic has introduced new mechanics to the game. So a mechanic, in my opinion, is something like fishing, something like the reboot system. Which, by the way, the reboot system definitely needs to be updated. It, they, they've added the reboot system. They haven't changed it since they added it. I think it should be easier to reboot people. I think they should experiment more with potentially bringing players back into the match after they get eliminated. We saw that a little bit with the Fort Nightmares, but I think it was a little bit poorly executed because once you became a zombie, there was no way of actually returning into the match as a player. So most people just started backing out as a zombie. But if there was an actual way to come back into the game, easier ways to come back into the game, I think... It would be good for the game, good for the pacing, and it would add it would add a lot. Got to be careful here. Give people more reason to stay in the match even after they get eliminated. There hasn't been a lot of new mechanics to the game of Fortnite. Ever since they added fishing, I think that was the last major mechanic that they added. I think they need to consider adding more things, like potentially adding a recycle system where if you, uh, if you like, turn in some weapons, you can get materials back at upgrade stations or, or whatever mechanics they come up with. I think me mechanic changes always add a lot to the game and it, it would it would do it would do a lot of good for the game of Fortnite. Season five absolutely needs to have a very solid Christmas theme. I want to see snow on the map. That's always a great feeling with the winter seasons is to see the snow map and to see some winter themes and some winter skins. The gingerbread uh, renegade raider needs to come out for sure. And a bunch of un other winter themed items. I, I always, always love Fortnite during the winter. Uh, the, the winter Christmas themes are, are the best. It's probably one of my favorite, favorite times to play Fortnite. I'm seriously, seriously excited and looking forward to seeing what Epic has in store for us, especially with how much hype is around the Galactus event. GG, man. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of my Fortnite Season 5 wishlist? What do you personally want in Season 5? Don't forget to like and subscribe so you're up to date with everything Fortnite related. I'll see you guys next time.